key to the atom's secrets was first given to the world in 1905, when the genius Albert Einstein defined the relation between all matter and energy and evolved his revolutionary theory of special relativity. Then, in 1919, Lord Rutherford confirmed Einstein's theory by smashing the nitrogen atom. By 1934, Italy's Enrico Fermi and Francis Frederick Joliot had made substantial progress. Meanwhile, in America, scientists like Arthur H. Compton, Harold C. Urey, and Ernest O. Lawrence were carrying on intensive research. In 1939, Lisa Meitner, exiled from Germany, computed the results which could be obtained from splitting uranium. Dr. Pigram concentrated on research at Columbia University. Working under his supervision were Dr. Leo Szilard and Dr. Fermi, who were laying the groundwork for a chain reaction in uranium. Encouraged by their successful progress, Szilard discussed with Dr. Einstein in the summer of 1939 the results of their findings and stressed the urgent need for action by the U.S. government. Conscious of the disaster which would inevitably follow if Nazi Germany should be the first to succeed in releasing atomic energy, Dr. Einstein decided to write a personal letter to the president. The letter was immediately brought to the attention of the president. Recognizing the critical significance of Einstein's message, President Roosevelt signed an order appointing the director of the National Bureau of Standards, Dr. Lyman J. Briggs, as chairman of a special advisory committee on uranium. After only one meeting, the committee was able to report that an atomic bomb was a definite possibility. The world's first atomic bomb was detonated on July 16, 1945, in the desert of New Mexico. A fireball with the explosive power of over 10,000 tons of dynamite, the bomb ushered in a new era of war. Three weeks later, the United States dropped a bomb on Hiroshima, Japan, utterly and totally destroying the city. A few days after that, a second bomb brought the same fate to Nagasaki.